watching the headlines with me. I'm Dipavli Hasra. Prime Minister Modi tweeted on the Pan India Anti Citizenship Act stir saying, and I quote, I want to unequivocally assure my fellow Indians that the Citizenship Amendment Act does not affect any citizen of India of any religion. No Indian has anything to worry regarding this act. This act is only for those who faced years of persecution outside and have no other place to go except India, unquote. Jamia Vice Chancellor Najma Akhtar addressed the media and condemned the police action on students on Sunday night. She said the administration will file an FIR against the forced entry of cops on the campus, calling the subsequent crackdown unacceptable. She dismissed many things as rumours but stood by students, saying that the emotional damage on them was irreversible. Congress held a press briefing over the Jamia clashes, demanding a judicial inquiry into the incident, alleging that police couldn't have entered the college campus without the Vice Chancellor's knowledge and permission. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra had earlier called the centre a coward after she alleged that police had entered the college campuses and thrashed students on the government's direction. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman said she was unaware about what happened at Jamia last night. However, she said that one must be wary of jihadists, Maoists and separatists fueling the stir at the university. As many as 50 students were released by Delhi police in the wee hours of Monday after they were detained following violent protests on Sunday against the contentious Citizenship Act. Security personnel are said to have lobbed tear gas shells at students and forced their way in and allegedly dragged students out of the college library and mosque. A day after violent clashes at Jamia, student protests were held across India from Aligarh Muslim University to Delhi University to Loyola College. Students stand in solidarity with their peers at Jamia, condemning the police brutality on the students. Earlier, Aligarh Muslim University campus saw clashes between the students and police, after which the university hostels have been evacuated and the institution is closed till January the 5th. Senior advocate Indira Jaising mentioned Jamia Millia Islamia and Aligarh Muslim University incidents before a bench headed by the Chief Justice S.A. Bobde. Jaising asked the Supreme Court to take so more to cognizance of the issue. CGI Bobde said that the top court will determine the rights but not in the atmosphere of riots. He said the SC will take the matter up tomorrow and also appeal to students to not take the law into their own hands. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has sought time to meet the Home Minister as he expressed worry over the law and order situation in Delhi. Earlier, Delhi Education Minister Manish Sisodia announced that all schools in South East Delhi will be shut today in view of the tensions prevailing in and around Jamia. Meanwhile, Metro Services has resumed normally in all parts of Delhi. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee held a protest rally today in Kolkata against the citizenship law after widespread opposition in the state. She defied the governor's orders who had called her rally unconstitutional and inflammatory. Governor Dhankar had said Mamata should focus on returning normalcy to the state. At the rally, the Bengal Chief Minister said she will never allow Citizenship Amendment Act and the NRC in the state. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more news.